Hello everyone, I'm your host Heather Dawson and welcome to the June edition of Healthy RC Living. As always, we start off with the first five series and this year we're going to the annual event, the Ron Ives Memorial Bicycle Safety Rodeo. Hi! An enthusiastic and excited group of kids were on hand at Central Park recently for the annual Ron Ives Memorial Bicycle Safety Rodeo. The popular event is put on by the Rancho Police Department and supports the efforts of First Five to increase child safety, especially for those kids under five years old. We have about 300 kids from Ranch Cucamonga come out and we put on bike safety presentations. We talk a little bit about our traffic division and the Rancho Police Department. And then we have this safety course um, talk about the vehicle code as it applies to kids who are learning how to ride bikes. The event featured an extensive bicycle obstacle and safety course, helmet and bike giveaways. Also on hand was the unique bicycle powered blender making delicious healthy smoothies. One, three, two, one, three. Two, one, three. The Ron Ives Bicycle Safety Rodeo has been an annual tradition for the past 10 years and has become part of Bicycle Safety Month in Rancho every May. The Rancho Cucamonga Police Department puts on the event in memory of Rancho Traffic Deputy Ron Ives, who was killed on duty when his motorcycle was hit by a motorist who ran a red light. Ron was an avid bicyclist and he had a passion for bikes, kids, kids safety. So he put the uh, the first rodeo together and then my partners and I have kind of picked up and we do this in memory of him. And by honoring a fallen fellow officer, the Rancho Police Department is making a giant effort to keep our children safe as they ride their bikes in our local streets and parks. We basically just go over safe riding rules, you know, ride on the right, travel the same direction as the driver would drive a car. If you're under the, under the age of 18, you do have to wear a helmet and click it. You know, you can go to any school in the city and see kids not wearing helmets or the helmets on their handlebars. And we, we kind of need to plant that seed in the, uh, the minds of the parents and the rider. No, I get that. Right. No, they were going to come with their action. So Two, one, nine. I think it's a great event for the city. Um, it brings a lot of parents out here that normally wouldn't come together as a uh, kind of city function. Um, all these good kids out here getting to learn from uh, the law enforcement officers in this area. Uh, they get to see the motorcycles, the cars, the fire trucks come out here. Um, it's just a really good uh, environment on a Saturday morning. The Bicycle Safety Rodeo drew not only hundreds of kids, but equally enthusiastic parents who appreciate the police department's efforts to keep children safe. Today is awesome. We came out early this morning and my daughter won a free bike. We got some helmets, so we're here all the time. It's a great event. Hello, just racing my friend. You're racing your friend? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah? It's great. Very cool. You like your bike? Yeah. Good. They really learn a lot. And you know, you, you learn by example too. So you get to see the other kids practicing safe uh, bike riding and they follow, they follow the other kids. And that really is the ultimate goal of the Ron Ives Memorial Bicycle Safety Rodeo, keeping kids safe. And the event has gone a long ways in turning the tragic death of Deputy Ron Ives into a positive for the community a positive that our local police plan to continue for years to come. We're out here every May. Uh, it's on the city website. You can check Facebook, or if you have any questions, you can call the traffic division at Rancho Cucamonga Police at 477-2817. From Central Park, I'm David Wiley for Healthy RC Living. Rancho Cucamonga is working to cultivate healthy lifestyles with its Route 66 community garden. Here's Madison Perry. 
Rancho Cucamonga is working to cultivate healthy lifestyles. The Route 66 garden allows for many to come and grow organic, fresh crops while also strengthening and building a sense of community. The community garden has a lot of different components. First and foremost, um, people can come out here and rent a plot for a year and grow their own fruits and vegetables and we have different size plots. Um, the, the smaller raised beds, uh, 10 by 10, 10 by 20 foot plots or they can, people can get even bigger ones, 20 by 20, and just grow their own fruits and vegetables for their own use at home. This new and innovative idea for a community garden will allow for families of all shapes and sizes to obtain freshly grown produce. Volunteers have already begun reaping the benefits of having both seasonal and delicious crops grown right in their city. Well, my garden is a 10 by 20. I started off with a 10 by 10, but I wanted a little bit more land. And I was ready to come out here and with the mountains there as a backdrop, it's a beautiful place to start a garden. So I started planting tomatoes and, and uh, cucumbers and uh, okra. And I've had some requests from friends to plant certain things like radishes. and. Because of the garden's unique location, there is an unlimited supply of water. Plot owners may come down and lavish their fruits and vegetables with water at absolutely no cost to them. We want to eventually have classes out here in gardening, um, bring kids in uh, to teach them how to grow healthy uh, fruits and vegetables. Um, we're going to have a vineyard out here eventually too, so in, in hopes of um, just rejuvenating some of the vineyard history of the region. We'll have a farmer's market out here so people can come and buy fresh produce, not necessarily grown here, but just just to be able to see, you know, where, where our food comes from. Plot owner applications, as well as information on volunteer opportunities, are located within the Community Gardens website. From the Community Gardens of Rancho Cucamonga, I'm Madison Perry with Healthy RC Living. Rancho's Got Talent. In fact, a few budding filmmakers competed at the Youth Leaders Film Contest. J.R. Ibarra has more. Good evening. You've reached the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. How can we help you today? Uh, I think my friend's going to kill himself. Okay, ma'am. Let me just ask you a few questions. We're here to help. It's a subject matter that most would rather avoid, but the emergence of suicide and mental health issues among teens has been a growing topic in our societal landscape. To confront this issue head on, a conglomeration of agencies spearheaded by the California Mental Health Services Authority recently held a special awards ceremony here in Rancho to acknowledge teens from around the empire for their work in a special film competition known as Directing the Change. You know, I working in suicide prevention and mental health, it's so nice to have a fun, exciting way to approach these subjects and to have the youth voice. You know, youth, a lot of times I think um, it's dismissed that, that youth don't have a passion for these subjects because for so long we haven't talked about these subjects. Um, but given the opportunity, these youth have just constantly amazed us with their films. We, we started doing this three years ago and we were hoping to get 100 films maybe and we ended up getting 450 films the first year. and. Um, just the, the quality of the, the product and the content and the stories that these youth share has just been amazing. The city of Rancho Cucamonga not only played a role by hosting this special event at the Victoria Gardens Cultural Center, but Rancho was also represented by a team of youth from Healthy RC who were also part of this competition and came away with an award-winning video. In addition to producing a very meaningful film, the Ranch Cucamonga Youth Leaders also won first place in San Bernardino County, which had the highest number of entries across the state. Every time the teacher assigns something, I can never be able to remember the instructions, and I have to ask the teacher multiple times before I can jot it down in my head. I feel like everything is a distraction and that I cannot focus in class. Since I can't focus in class, I don't understand the lessons that she's teaching me. Everyone experiences anxiety from time to time, and anxiety can often be described as a feeling of uneasiness, nervousness, worry, fear, or dread of a certain event. Anxiety can be misinterpreted as fear, however, anxiety is a sense of danger or trouble. The intensity of anxiety varies for each person. 
As for me, I have mild anxiety triggered by being overwhelmed in school and in my personal life. My panic attacks feel like I have anchors tied to my feet and I've been thrown into the ocean and I'm expected to speak. Finding and seeking help isn't only good for your mental health, but also good for your personal health. That's incredible. When we made the film, we just wanted you know people to at least see it. We didn't even think that we'd be honored. And the fact that we won um, first in the county, that's just incredible to us and we're so thankful. And I mean, this event looks so great and we're just so blessed. And we're glad that we're, you know, at the end of the day, we're all here for the same reason and to, you know, help change. Um, I think it's really great. Like I said, I wasn't here for that long and I, it's a great experience to be able to do all these things and to let people know that they're not alone and there's many people around them that do know how it feels and that there is people around them to help them. The overwhelming success of this film project not only provides an outlet for artistic expression, but it also gives our youth the opportunity to creatively confront an issue that is vital to the health and well-being of our teens in the Inland Empire. So through, these, through this contest, uh, the youth are exposed to safe messaging on suicide prevention and how to appropriately message on mental health and end the silence of mental illness. And so through that, they're able to tackle these topics, as you talked about, in an engaging way um, that's comfortable to them. Uh, but it really gives them an opportunity to share their thoughts and their voice on, on how these issues affect them. Because most mental illnesses show up by age 14 or age 24. So these are issues that are affecting youth. And up until recently, we've been a little hesitant to bridge that gap and have these conversations with them. And this time it's them having the conversation with us, which has just been beautiful. You can do more than just kind of watch it, let it happen. You can actually go and find out opportunities, go and seek a counselor, go and seek a parent, um, an adult, whether it be your teachers or someone close to you, um, and just getting that kind of support system around you and know that it's okay and that um, you know acceptance is one thing, but also actively helping your friend and your um, companion is something that you can definitely do and that everyone has the ability to do. From the Victoria Gardens Cultural Center, this is J.R. Ibarra for Healthy RC. And now let's find out all the wonderful events happening this summer in our city with J.R. Ibarra at the Summer in the City event. It's become an annual event that has a large impact on our community. Rancho Cucamonga's summer kickoff, which was held at Central Park, brought out a large number of local families who were looking to get their summer started in a special way. The focus of this celebration has been based in the Rancho Cucamonga Library's summer reading program. By encouraging both kids and adults to commit to a reading regimen over the summer, this program has seen thousands of residents participate in recent years. You know, the library reading program is 20, 20, 21 years old this year. It really is something that's important for us to do. Literacy is at the core of everything we do in society, so it's really important for us to keep kids reading over the summer. Um, with summer vacations lasting about two months long, we want to make sure that we prevent that summer slide. So they keep those literacy skills up, they keep those reading skills up, and they're ready for the school year. The summer kickoff is also a showcase for other city-based programs that most everyone can find a place to participate in some small or big way. Well, Rancho Cucamonga has a long tradition of caring for its community, and a piece of that is to teach us what to do before, during, and after an emergency. And our community emergency response team training uh, teaches the community specific things we want them to know during a disaster, where to go, how to get ready for a disaster, and how to recover from a disaster. If you are interested in our community emergency response team training, you can visit the fire district's website at rcfire.org or the city's website at cityofrc.us forward slash readyrc. The impact of this program has been an overwhelming success that city officials attribute as one of the great attractions that lead many to call Rancho Cucamonga their home. I do know they love the fact that the city provides all these summer activities. You know, that's, that's a big draw for people moving here is the kind of activities we have for the families. Playing is learning, there's absolutely no question about that. Um, and our, our play and learn islands in the library demonstrate that. But we all know that playing is learning. And the other thing I think is really important, you know, all the little kids out here with their parents as role models, they get the idea, you know, this is a, a good thing to do, get involved in these kind of activities. So they're going to grow, by, by the role modeling, they're going to grow up with the same attitude. And we have, you know, the teen club and the teen reading program and the teen library activities, which are very cool. And so it's just a lifelong learning for them. And I, I'm just so proud of what our community services does and the library department 
It's, it, it's just a huge thing of pride for me. Both parents and kids who participate in the summer reading program see the great benefit that it provides by taking the time out and spending a little time buried in a great book at one of our local libraries. Well, we come out here for the great reading program. My daughter's been participating in the past three years now, and uh, or two years rather, and this is her third year. And uh, we just look forward to it. She enjoys reading and kind of helps us, you know, get familiar with the library. And uh, it's, it's kind of become a cool hangout now. You know, we're, we're you know, don't, it's, it's low budget, but actually, you know, the benefits are much, much better because she's, she's excelling in school and she just loves to read. Well, I like Junie B. Jones. Um, I like Magic Tree House. And I also like um, Nancy Drew mystery books. Basically that kids won't use the television as entertainment, that they will get out and that they will read, they will visit their local libraries and that they would just have a blast and fall in love with books. This year's summer kickoff can be considered another rousing success by showcasing the city and its myriad of community programs for all ages. And with the summer reading program now getting into gear, anyone in Rancho can benefit by dipping into a great book and taking their kids along for the educational ride. From Central Park, this is J.R. Ibarra for Healthy RC. Marco Gutierrez drops in at RC Sports Center's Jazzercise class in honor of National Physical Fitness Month. In an effort to promote National Physical Fitness Month, the Healthy RC Initiative and local businesses have partnered to offer over 50 free exercise and nutrition oriented classes and activities. The Jazzercise class at the RC Family Sports Center is a great way for all ages to get up and move. We do a warm up, a cardio, and then muscle toning, strengthening with weights and you know some ab work and some glute work, so we get it all in. 60 minutes, we get your entire, you get a full workout with Jazzercise. Walking into the Jazzercise class is as easy as dropping in, and there's no worries of judgment or intimidation because all instructors and customers will make you feel welcome. So it's not like going to one of these gyms where these young people just hop around and wear you out. It's a, a very measured workout. The instructors are very well trained. It's great for all ages. Uh, I played soccer for many years and I had ACL injury, so I couldn't go straight back to soccer, but I wanted to do something. And I could slowly get to do more than low impact, which I was doing because of my knee. And I love it. Expect to feel results after three classes, so expect to keep on going. We have class every day, Monday through Sunday. I hope everybody comes and joins us. We have a great time here. It, it just gets your endorphins going and makes you feel so good. We would love to get everybody just to come out and try our class and 99% um, of the time they're going to love it. I mean, how can you not? It's music, you're dancing, you're working. So you want to be fit? We hope you venture outside your comfort zone. Come try the Jazzercise class and the variety of drop-in classes offered at the RC Family Sports Center. For more information, visit rcpark.com. Reporting for Healthy RC, I'm Marco Gutierrez. It's not always easy to eat healthy, so the city of Rancho Cucamonga offers free cooking classes for its residents. Marco Gutierrez takes us there. The Cocinando Amigos Saludables y Alegres, or Casa Cooking Class, is a hands-on bilingual healthy eating and cooking program designed to educate and empower Latino families in the North Town neighborhood of Rancho Cucamonga. Chef Gino Rodriguez has been with the program since its inception six years ago and teaches the community how to prepare food that is healthier and more nutritious. The dishes that we mainly make in the class are dishes that can help you prevent or how to treat the chronic diseases. We're talking diabetes, heart problems, we're talking kidney problems, and obesity, the biggest. I started learning about all the vegetables and fruits and what they were good for. Well, I felt it was important to come so I could share this with my kids, and I do a family night with my children, so I wanted to be able to cook and then share with them. The program consists of four six-week sessions that are provided over a 12-month period with separate classes for youth and adults. Every single week, it's a new dish. Today, we serve a complete meal. We had orzo chicken asiago, five ounce uh, chicken breast boneless, and then you have your salad, 
which has this spring mix, uh, your onions, your tomatoes, your cucumbers, everything freshly cut. Also we have the raspberry vinaigrette was made freshly and then you end up with your uh, dessert, which is your day bites, uh, full of minerals, uh, full of fiber. The program is important to the community because it addresses economic challenges faced by many of the residents and supports access to fresh and affordable food. For more information, visit the Northtown Housing Community Center or visit northtownhousing.com. Reporting for Healthy RC, I'm Marco Gutierrez. So are you up for a challenge? Well, David Wiley takes us to the Cucamonga Challenge on the Pacific Electric Trail. Really big crowd out here along the Pacific Electric Trail next to Central Park for the 10th annual Cucamonga Challenge. This is an annual fundraiser that we do in our community to raise awareness about the trail and also this year specifically we're raising funds to restore the Etiwanda Depot along the PE Trail. This year's event featured a time 10K run, which is about six miles. There was also a fun run 5K and walk. And a pair of bicycle rides an eight-mile family ride, and a 35-miler for those looking for a bigger challenge. The success of the Cucamonga Challenge has grown over the years, and this year's event drew an unprecedented crowd. Record-breaking. We actually sold out. We're over 400 participants this year, so it was a huge success. I've done it uh, the last four years in a row. This is the best year, best turnout that I've seen. Really enjoy it. And it seems a lot of people enjoy it. In 10 short years, the Cucamonga Challenge has become a spring tradition in Rancho, promoting fitness and the Pacific Electric Trail. It's really good to see a lot of people out here, the community bringing their bikes out. I see a lot of cyclists. It's a very fun sport. Like I said, it's good to see a lot of people turn out. Great event that the city put on. Hope to see you come back next year. It kind of challenges you and you meet other runners and, you know, it's a, it's a fun event. I like the cardio and then the motivation to get more bit healthier, better shape. Well, I like this event because it's close to home and, it, and it's, uh, it's a lot of local friends and a lot of community and it raises money for, for the trail itself, so it's really a good cause. And the hope is that events like this will not only support projects along the trail, but will go a long ways in promoting use of the trail. It's dirt path on one side and concrete on the other, so you can run on either dirt or concrete. And each of the crossings is protected with a signal, so it's, it's a perfect, really flat seven-mile run. And with its flat, multi-use surface, the word is definitely getting out about the Pacific Electric Trail with locals taking advantage of its close proximity to their homes and others from neighboring communities coming to Rancho to try out the fantastic fitness and recreational opportunities it has to offer, whether it's running, walking, or biking. Yeah, anybody that gets out on a bike, any opportunity, uh, whether you commute or uh, race, um, just ride around your neighborhood. It's a great, it's a great way to exercise. And ultimately, that is the goal of the Cucamonga Challenge, to promote and encourage physical fitness. Along the PE Trail, I'm David Wiley for Healthy RC Living. Well, that wraps up the June edition of Healthy RC Living. If you missed any part of our show, you can watch on Channel 3 right here in Rancho Cucamonga, or you can go online to healthyrc.info. I'm your host, Heather Dawson. We'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Heather Dawson. Our show, Healthy RC Living, highlights just a few of the wonderful activities that enhance the mind, body, and earth. We take you to events around the city that'll enrich your mind. Live performances, library computer classes, and story hours are just a few of the ways the city helps people of any age learn and expand their abilities and imaginations. We also show you all the ways our city can help keep your body healthy.
There's no better city for outdoor exercise and we'll make sure you know all the fitness opportunities available in Rancho Cucamonga with our on location reports. You'll also see how our city is doing its part to protect the earth now and for our future generations. Join us as we explore all of the ways Rancho Cucamonga is making it easy to enjoy healthy living. Sounds like you could use some Van Goghurt. It's fortified with arch-rich nutrients to improve your math and reading skills. Catch! Van Goghurt, thanks. So what's the deal with your ear? Always with the ear, huh? Feed your kids the arts. For 10 simple ways to learn how, visit americansforthearts.org. Treat your family to Van Gogh, packed with live and active culture to boost kids' math and reading skills. It's sure to satisfy your hunger for inspiration. Feed your kids the arts. For 10 simple ways to learn how, visit americansforthearts.org. It's fun to sing. Zippity zip zip zin zin zin. Dance. And play music every day. Yeah, go for it! Doing something artistic inspires creativity and helps you succeed in school and life. 
play music, paint, and dance together as a family. Come on, team! Blast off with the arts. Blast off! For 10 ways to add the arts into your life, visit AmericansForTheArts.org.